Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honour to the elder apostles of Great Milson that teach his truth well, and that continue to teach his truth well, and to the hope we're left across the globe and to the few. The very few brothers and, and sisters listening and learning and are spiritual because as I'm saying this, there's a, <laughs> there's a chariot floating past. Oh man, you know, but yeah, um, double honest to the other apostles and to you brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning, okay, across the globe, okay. We're just going to flow with this, this is going to be a walk and talk This is a walk and talk Post camp Production Okay Again The scriptures This lesson is going to be based on Faith is evident Okay And if anybody knows me now you should know that This is not a game, it's not just something I'm saying You know This is serious, I take this serious so if you know that you're gonna take the truth serious, you're not gonna you're not gonna play about with it. You understand what I'm saying? You are going to take this serious. You're not you're not gonna play games. You're not gonna do all that. So faith is evident. It's clear. You're not guessing. It's not if, but maybe. Oh, maybe. See, there's a sense of um humbleness, but it's not a sense of um oh, maybe because this is what I want to put out there. You know if one individual has faith and another individual does not have faith what is going to happen? you're going to see that man that has faith and another man that don't really have the faith and what's that going to do? that's going to put him to shame so again this is not something you can fake you can't fake the Holy Spirit it's not something you can fake okay? you can only fake for so long Faith is evident and Yahweh was showing, teaching and showing his men how to have faith. Okay? Yeah, that chariot's gone, bear me just a minute. He was teaching them how to have faith. Why, what? There's a very few men that are actually teaching how to have faith, how to maintain faith. Okay? You can only do that if you have faith. <laughs> you, understand, you understand what I'm saying? You can only do that if you have faith. They're the ones that are going to get built up. The ones that are going to get, get built up are the ones that have faith and that are teaching others to have faith. We go into prophecy, we go into the mark of the beast, RFID chip. We go into World War Three. That's brilliant. But our main thing is to go in. The main thing we go into is the men. How are you building yourself up? How are we building ourselves up? Through the things we're going for, through. Okay, I'm going to quote scripts because I don't want to talk too much. I ain't got the scripts in my hand, but we're just going to go off the top of the dome. What did it say in John 3? I think it's John 3 or 27. Something in John 3 or 27. Something down in lies. He said, He that believed on me. That's like it, not that. Well, it was somewhere down the lines of faith is a gift. <laughs> okay. And John said that, I believe it was John the Baptist He said faith is a gift Okay, so if you have faith, that's a gift A man can receive nothing, that's it, that's it, that's it A man can receive nothing, lest it be given to him From the Most High, from Yahweh Shai So, anything you've received The faith you received Was through Yahweh Shai so what happens if you've been given this gift? Do you just squander it? You don't squander it, you use it. Okay. And that's it. You use it. Because some men, guess what? They get entangled in the world. They get consumed by the world. And what happens? Them evil spirits overtake, overtake men. Overtake men. I've always said this. You could still... I'm not, I'm not putting no one on blast 
But if it applies to you, it applies to you. You can still come to camp. And it's, it's so bad. Men can come to camp, preach, put on an act, and not even believe. This is how, this is how bad it is. But guess what? You know what your house is going to do with individuals like that? Get them out of the way and put them to death eventually. You know? So you've got to be really serious about this thing. That's why when you go to Galatians 6, what does it say? It says, let every man bear his own burden. So when you're not with me, when you're not with the Akiam, you've got to bear your own burden. And if you claim to hold this, have all this faith, get out there, show your faith. Don't just say it. Okay? The men of the Lord, they want to be around other men that are faithful. Not that, are f- not that excuse my language, not that are fucking lukewarm. Lukewarm, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, maybe. Hope he's with me. Hope he's with you. Get the fuck. Oh, man. Move from me with that. You know? Move from me with that. I don't want this lesson to be too harsh, but it is how it is. Yahabashah was in that spirit. How do you expect you, you really expect Yahabashah to protect you? What's all this about? You really expect Yahabashah to protect you? But you don't, you don't even have faith in him. Come on, get real. You better get real. Okay, and the ones that have faith, they have faith. Why? Because it was given to them to believe. And that's it, as simple as that. The elect were predestinated. So there's no, really, there's no if, buts and maybes. If a guy doesn't make it, if a guy takes the chip, because he was not of the elect. Because <laughs> someone may say, well, you know, you're going to have people that are not of the elect and they're not going to take the chip because they're just against authorities. Okay. But we're speaking about individuals in the truth And the individuals in the truth The ones that will take the chip They're going to take it because They never had faith To begin with Okay So what's this about? Building up your faith Between you and Yahweh Shai And I want to do more lessons on this as well Even when I'm on the highways and byways That's my whole duty when brothers get on a level, it's their duty to build up other brothers. And the only ones that are going to do that are those that have faith. Okay? Can't, you can't let this world stop you, man. Don't let this world, this demonic world, because another thing, again. That's why the scripture says you cannot have two masters. What's it? Matthew 6. On down. On to 19 to 20. You cannot serve two masters. So who's your master? Who is, who is your master? Okay. For either he will love the one and hate the other. You're going to start being partial. In your mind. Can't judge. Coming to camp. Criticising others. Catching demons. Being jealous. Because you're not in a spirit. You're in a fucked up spirit. Why am I watching videos and guys sound like Master P? And I'm not, I'm not even, look, this ain't even a joke. Why am I watching videos and you just sound dead? Uh, like, bro, come on, man. This is serious, man. I can't, I can't stress this enough. Like, we're in some wicked times. You do, you do believe there's such a thing as spirits. There's the Holy Spirit that's dwelling with his men, which is a righteous spirit, which is going to get his men through. And this is what Yahweh was doing. Yahweh was building his, up his disciples. So when he left them, what? They were later called apostles, which were sent out. And the reason he was building them up, because he could not stay with them. That's why he said a lot of the times, I go to a place and you shall not see me no more. And what did, um, what was it, Philip? He said, can, can I come with thee? Or Thomas, one of them. Uh, how can we know the way? And Yahweh got mad at <laughs> At him, he said, why, "Why are you saying how? How can I know the way?" Paraphrasing, Yahweh is the way, but he needed to go back to the heavenly Father because if he didn't do that, Yahweh, he wouldn't have been glorified. Yahweh wouldn't have been glorified. Okay, so that had to happen, and we wouldn't have had this knowledge. That's another thing. So that's the importance. A lot of men, guess what? They they exile Yahweh and they exile his men. But guess what? The Lord's going to fucking destroy you, man. 
You niggas, man. You demons, man. There's only a the scripture says they cover with a covering, Isaiah 30, but not of my spirit. So if you're covering with another covering, but it's not the covering of Yahabashai, you've got a covering of demons. Christianity is a covering of demons. All these things it's covering of demons. Okay? The scriptures are straight to the point. Yahabashai gave us. It's all in the scriptures. So why ain't men ready teaching Yahweh like that? How can they teach? How comes they can teach you all this other stuff of no relevance? Okay, because men talk about relevant, relevant. Ooh, are, are your videos relevant? Or are you just rambling? Men ain't even got time to sit down and, and study. That's not someone that's sincere. How is it? Are you got all this knowledge, but you're keeping it to yourself? Scriptures tell you that in the apocrypha. Better is him that hideth his folly. <laughs> you understand? Better is him that hideth his folly than him. What was it? Than him that has wisdom and hideth that. Paraphrasing. You got all this wisdom, but you're hiding it. It's better that someone hide their folly than someone that has much wisdom and they hide that. Because that's evident. If, if you're someone that's so-called, you got all this wisdom, but you hide it. And that just that's even worse than a fool that hides his folly. Because a fool, you wouldn't know that he's a fool because he hides his folly. <laughs> you, see what, you see what I'm saying? But not all men have the faith. Not all men have the faith. The scriptures talk about the last days. Paul, you read the New Testament, which Yahweh is the volume of the whole book, but when you read the New Testament, Paul speaks about, what does he speak about? False prophets, seducing spirits, liars, deceivers, Okay. What was Yahabashai speaking? Yahabashai warned you of these things. Je Jeremiah warned you of these things. You know? So, if these things we're being warned of, are you not going to open up your eyes and see? Because it's, it's flipping clear. Real clear. And it's going to be the same thing, you know, during the week. Men are going to be in a effed up spirit, doing the work deceitfully. It's between you and Yahweh. At the end of the day, it's between you and Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? I can't force you. It's between you and he's, he, he's either given you the spirit or he hasn't. There's no in between. Uh, you know, um, I just I don't know if Yahweh Shai is dealing. No, F forget that pity party. Okay. A lot of men are weak in the spirit, man. It's one thing being weak in the flesh, but a lot of men are weak in the spirit. Fucking weak niggas, man. I'm, say, I'm saying this from the heart. I'm saying this from the spirit. Weak, man. It's one thing being weak in the flesh, but weak in the spirit. Come on, man. You need to. You need to. I'm telling you. You need to upgrade your stuff. You know. You need to really sit down and have a gut check. Because what you what you're doing is, it's unacceptable, and you're pushing that spirit on others, which is not right. And eventually, the Yahweh is just going to get you out of there. You know? Brothers are there to, to build you up. But the scripture says, again, let every man bear his own burdens. So guess what? You've got to bear your own burden that you've been given. That's for you. What the scripture says, let every man take up his cross and follow me. Did it say, let... You take up your brother's cross. Even though Yahabashai had help with a cross. But it's your cross. That's for you to bear. Okay? Because some men, they can so, so called only in the spirit. When they're around other men. And even then they're not in the spirit. They're in the deceitful spirit. Now you have men that have been overcome by the world. Okay? Two, two fold a demon now. And guess what? They're teaching, but they're teaching in the evil spirit. Okay? And as time goes on, all this is going to be more evident. Who Yahabashah is dealing with and who he ain't. Some men just hang about, like in the world, what do they call it? To drop a dime. If you know what that means. You know? That's all. Some men just hang around for that. You know? 
Well, it's beautiful because it's being made known who the Lord is dealing with. And certain men can see that already. <sighs> Excuse me. See how much time I've got on this. Yeah, this is serious. This brothers, all the, the brothers that are sincere, all I can say, stay sincere, stay diligent. And don't, don't, don't let anybody tell you you don't need to be diligent. Because that, 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 ma that matters as well. You know? All these things matter. Okay? Diligence, all, all, of, all of it matters. If, if someone's getting angry at you, oh, yo, why is he doing so much videos? But are the videos edifying? And that, that's something, if a man wants to do five, two, three videos a day, leave him alone. That's his love towards you, have a shy. Why have you got a problem with that? And you're not doing that. You think you have to see this, these are the things that Yahweh Shai sees. And he hates that. A brother giving it his all. There's one thing going through the motions. And it's one thing doing lessons that are edifying. Because you could, you, again, it's a balance. A man can do three videos, four videos a day. And they may not be edifying. A man can do one video, two videos during the week, which is still unacceptable. But yeah, it could be edifying. But the main thing is, you work into your measure. And because a lot of men are, they don't really have it. Because guess what? This is this way you got. This way you got to be wise. If men were to do videos every day, every day, then you would you would see who's who. Are you, are you paying attention to what I'm saying? If men were to do videos every day, then you see who's who. You see who, who the spirit is. That's why guys, they, they, they do that two, two day gap, five day gap. Because of that. But it's all being brought, it's all being brought forth. See, when our apostle said, oh, one video a day decree, a lot of you were looking at that, oh, just fair men. You post that up on the chat and you go straight back to what, being a nigger. But it's all right, because you have a what's he going to do? He's going to justify his men. Okay, what's going on here? Shit. Yahabashah is going to justify his men. Okay. And those that have done everything they could for him, he is going to reward them. Okay. He's going to reward them. And, don't, and please, Baba Kasha, don't give me this rubbish about, oh, yeah, when all but hell breaks these martial law and all that, are you going to be saying, well, I've done my videos? You're, if you're thinking like that, you're fucking carnal and you need to grow up. Yeah, that's, the scriptures, don't the scriptures say Matthew 6 and 19? Lay up for yourself treasure, treasures in heaven. <laughs> so yeah, Yahushua's going to see that. Because that matters as well. You know? So, so what are you saying? It, it, it doesn't matter. About the works. No, it does matter. Because that's the manifestation of your faith. And the problem is just, just men don't have it. Okay? The scripture says, I'll show, show you my um, Paul said, I'll show you my faith by my works. And I'll show you my works by my faith. It's not merely on that. But if you really care, you're going to do it. Nobody's going to need to tell you. So if you don't want to do that, why did you come into this truth? What, just to turn up on camp on Saturday and act? Put on an act. Okay, let's go home now. Be deceitful. And for the rest of the week, you've got demons all up floating up in your inward parts. Signing that Master P. So one more scripture. We're going to paraphrase and um, we shut off on here. So what does it say in Hebrews 12? Hebrews 12 or 13. Okay. It says, what is faith? Faith is, faith is the things hoped for, but not seen. So, again, if you have faith, you're going to be hoping for what you don't see. That what is not tangible. Because people here, they lose faith. Why? Because it's not tangible. <laughs> you understand? They can't feel it. So what, they go back into the world? Oh, they don't, they don't want to deal with it anymore. You know, they can't see it. 
you've got men to think, thinking about plans in their mind. The corporate world. The corporate world's finished. <laughs> you think about the corporate world. You better just wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee. And get your head out of your ass, man. Because these are serious times. So until the next time, I'm going to shut off here. Inshallah.